is the year 2050. Global temperatures have skyrocketed. People are dying at an exponential rate as years pass by. Is this what we want? Do you want to know what Singapore would have looked like if we went carbon free? Welcome to our Carbon Zero neighborhood, a glimpse of what Singapore's future can be. This is our energy positive HDB. Why? Because it is made to not only minimize electrical consumption, but also produces electricity. Firstly, to decrease the heat absorbed by the building, we make use of cool paint, which contains tiny reflective particles that bounce off infrared light, thereby lowering the temperature of indoor areas by at least 5 degrees. Such anti-solar paint can improve comfort for many people and reduce energy consumption. Secondly, to generate electricity, we will use solar facade on the outer walls and solar panels on the roof of our HDB buildings. The solar facade and solar panels both consist of solar cells that allow solar radiation to be converted directly into electricity. Moreover, solar facades come in a variety of colours, hence even modernising the building while reducing the carbon footprint. Thirdly, we have a mini garden and green plants growing on the HDB walls. This increases greenery while decreasing the temperature of the buildings by as much as 10 degrees. Speaking of greenery, did you know you can utilise plants to generate electricity? This can be achieved by using microbial fuel cells as shown here. Through photosynthesis, plants produce glucose, which is excreted into the soil through the roots. It is then broken down into energy by microorganisms surrounding the roots, releasing electrons to produce electricity. As this process doesn't compromise plant growth while electricity is being harvested, plants can keep growing while producing electricity. Moving on to our car parks, we have wireless charging parking lots, which allows drivers to charge their cars without having to manually connect it to the cable. This makes it fuss-free and very convenient for electric car owners. What better way to make use of roads than to use them to generate electricity, right? Yup, our roads make use of piezoelectricity, a certain property some materials have which can generate an electric current when they are squeezed or pressed. Cool idea, isn't it? Well, that's not all. For most of our facilities such as our Malayan Hawker Centre and Community Park, we can make use of quartz flooring which have piezoelectric property that can generate electricity while playing at a park or walking around the Hawker Centre. The energy will then be stored and redistributed to illuminate the areas at night. Instead of having a conventional community farming plot, we can include vertical farming plots in community parks across Singapore. Not only would this improve the sustainability of Singapore's food supply, but also encourage Singaporeans to consume more domestic product to decrease our reliance on international imports and Singapore's carbon footprint. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.